Hi Pisces, welcome to uh, your readings. <laughs> There's two readings in this video. The first one will be the one thing reading, which is about what you can concentrate on and understand and work towards and just work with to get you closer to your good. Uh, more about that in the description box below. I do have the fan on, so I'm sorry if there's kind of a background noise or whir. It shouldn't be too bad, but um, it's, it's a bit hot, so have the fan on in case you're wondering about the audio. But it should be fine. It's registering fine over here. Um, so anyway, so there's the one thing video first, and then there's going to be the new love reading also in this video. I will have time, uh, a timestamp for the new love reading, so if you're not interested in the one thing, you can just jump straight to that. All right. So everything else you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, um, as well as the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Fire Intuition Tarot. Hopefully you get a chance to stop by and check her out and show her some love. All right, Pisces, what is the one thing that you can concentrate on or work with right now What you need to hear to get you closer to your good or what you want? All right, Pisces. Yay for happiness and being content. Yay. Unless, of course, you're wondering why aren't you happy or content. Well, hopefully this will answer that, too. Okay, we got the tower. All right. Seven of swords. Hmm. The fool. Ten of swords. Hierophant. Ten of cups. And the high priestess. Okay. So you might know about some, you might have just found out about, now this could, by the way, this could be, um, it doesn't have to be a romantic situation. This could be work, could be just uh, something with your job, just an everyday life situation, not romantic read, could be not romantic love, friendship, love, family, otherwise just, uh, this is general and a message from the universe or from spirit whatever you'd like to call it, but this is supposed to be something you can hone in on to manifest and start getting you closer to what you really want. So, we got the tower here. What's this tower about? What's this tower about for Pisces? There has been an ending, an un a surprising ending, and out of the nowhere where it's, you know, salt the earth, like th this is major. Um, you might be aware of some deception or betrayal there might but what you're not aware of is it's more on a more profound level that perhaps a part of it was you not seeing what was really going on um, because of someone's deliberate attempt to obscure the truth to keep you in the dark about things um it could be that you are ignoring red flags but it not, that's not to say it's your fault it's just that you maybe you didn't know you didn't put two and two together at the time. But that's different than ignoring, isn't it? Anyway, you were unaware, let's put it that way. This is about you breaking away from this situation entirely and starting out on your own, taking that leap of faith and just getting the heck out of Dodge and separating from a situation that no longer serves you and finding your happiness. And this is about you unequivocally, unceremoniously, you are ending this. This is you severing ties with an unhealthy situation. Um, we've got a definite change because uh, we got the tens here, but this is you doing an about face and moving in a different direction in light of the deception that you've recently discovered. Wow. So in, in basically taking care of yourself and removing yourself from a toxic, confusing, anxiety-ridden situation where you're never going to get the answers. The healing comes in accepting that I'm never going to understand truly. I'm never going to know all that went on that was done unto me or not done in my best interest. Was somebody lied to me, cheated, betrayed me, whatever. I'm never going to understand it fully. And I'm just going to accept that and I'm going to move on. And in doing so, you establish, look at this. This right here gets transmuted to the Hierophant, the Ten of Cups, and the High Priestess. A strong connection within yourself your intuition is being restored, basically. Not that it ever wasn't, but th this is trusting yourself, going within, looking inward for resolution, um, 
and connecting to the divine. And we see that here as well, that this is just reaching out to restore faith, connecting inwardly, doing things that stabilize and normalize. And once you're rid with this, that stability and that happiness re-enters in your life, basically, Pisces. So whatever situation where you felt you were deceived or betrayed, this is about you moving away from that. This is about you, um, it's very simple. This, a lot of these were showing up as what message do you need to, this is just about get away from somebody that's not being honest with you. This could be a romantic situation, family, friend, even a job. Move away from what is toxic, strike out on your own, end this for good, take that leap of faith, the stability and the happiness and the internal connection are all waiting for you and will manifest after you remove yourself from a toxic situation. Just saying. This is very cut and dried. Both of these are about answering that calling or, or reestablishing that inner faith, that inner trust, um, inner wisdom, using that to help you get through a very difficult situation. So if you wanted to do an affirmation or something on a piece of paper that would kind of work with the, in resolution to this, that would work with the universe or moon magic, it could be as simple as, um, I accept all that has happened and I welcome understanding and movement through the situation. Something that charts progress, something that affirms what has happened and that, that whole Tai Chi thing where you use it for your good. I accept the awareness that is around me and accept the answers coming to me that will serve me for my highest good. I accept, I affirm, I move. All right. And look at this here. We've got being satisfied and being happy. I could see why if you, if there was this toxic situation, here you are off and running, getting some distance from that. Good was not stable, it was not secure. So we, we get, in moving away from it, that which is a physical ending, this is not about a, you know you staying in a situation that is not help, healthy for you. This is about you going, oh, I see how it is, I'm out. And then this tower, this destruction, gets transmuted with faith, security, stability, and um, reliability, dependability. Whether it's yourself or with someone else, it looks like, um, this is very grounding for you. It does lead to being content and happy. And it leads to you reconnecting inwardly. Because perhaps that was something that kind of got shut down when you were probably just trying to survive in a very confusing, toxic situation. Okay, so that's pretty cut and dried. What else for Pisces? The one thing. What else for Pisces? Hello. So we've got letters and we've got, I think that's a bouquet, is it? Yeah, that's a bouquet, it's not a garden. <laughs> I always get the bouquet, the flowers, the gardens, the lilies. All right, so this is letters and the bouquet. So this could be finding out, this is new information about somebody that was involved um, in an online affair and it was multiple um, relationships. It was, it was something that was really taking off and developing. This could be you quite happy in a relationship until you find uh, that you're not the only one involved. If it's not that, it's that, well, what would it be? Somebody, this is a superficial or a frivolous friend, someone that does not prioritize you and your needs, someone that has betrayed you, someone that does not have your best interest at heart, and they've recently done something to betray the friendship, or it was never, this is someone that's always on the take, this could be if it's a work situation or this could be a, a rescinded job offer. This could be an unethical firing. This could be you being passed over for a promotion or coworkers kind of doing something duplicitous to where it's just you're not getting a chance to move ahead and it's really messing with your head. But this is about you cleaving and leaving. So not to worry. You've certainly got the fortitude to do that see if I can put this I just don't want that to cover that up can you see it if I put it down here you can't okay maybe if I put that like that yeah I just don't want to 
Not that. Okay, so what if I do this right here? And knock that card down. How's that? Yeah, awesome. All right, so we've got the letter and we've got the bouquet. This could also be, well, it's the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Those are interchangeable with the suit of wands. So we're looking at being strategic and cutting out that which no longer serves you out of your life and making those executive decisions that lead to your greater good and a second chance with yourself, basically, that transmutes into happiness, contentment, trust, inner wisdom, being back on track, feeling like, oh, you know what? This actually was a blessing in disguise because look where I am now. All right, so... Yeah, this is, you're sitting pretty. This is, I mean, talk about roses coming out of a heap of crap, you know, because it didn't start off very good. Um, so, okay, so Pisces, that is your one thing. You need to know that this, all of this, this ending, this actually is setting you free. And look where you end up, the Hierophant, High Priestess, and the Ten of Cups. Being fulfilled and happy and connected to that which you are meant for. That which you feel like is your calling. Whether it's the right job, the right person, or um, just a stronger sense of self and being grounded and trusting yourself and having reconnected with yourself again. This is devoid of trust, of spirituality. This is questioning, being confused, being in the dark, and being robbed of that serenity and that groundedness. And you get that back over here. But it involves you decisively ending things. And taking that leap of faith and getting the heck out of Dodge and a brand new slate, completely cutting this off and just canceling this situation out of your life. Except that it's happened, but there's no more involvement with it. It doesn't, it simply does not serve you. Okay, so Pisces, I hope this was helpful. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to clear everything off and then I'm going to do the new love reading. So if you want to stick around for that, awesome. Uh, if not, I will see you in another reading, and I thank you for stopping by. You take care. Okay. And yeah, let's do this. All right, hi Pisces again. <laughs> if you're still joining me, thank you. If you're just getting here, welcome. This is your new love reading for July 2019. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. I did the readings this way um, because I wasn't sure how much time I was going to have later on in the week, and I just thought it'd be get it all done in one shot because it's going to get pretty busy here in a couple days for me. Um, so with that in mind, also <laughs> the recommended reader shout out. Uh, link is in the description box below as well. So hopefully you get a chance to stop by and show her some love. It is the channel uh, Fire Intuition Tarot. So much love and support to her and hopefully you're able to show her some love and support as well. All right, Pisces. Your new love situation for July. For Pisces. Oh, okay. We've got a unified partnership here. We've got um, the two of you in agreement on your feelings for each other. And this person is pretty darn important for you. Okay, so we've got the Three of Pentacles, King of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Ten of Wands. All right, who's Pisces dealing with here? Who's Pisces dealing with? This, every, across the board, this is coming up. King of Wands comes up so many times. I don't know what the heck's going on. <laughs> Everybody wants a doer and a goer and a, a wower. Someone that's big on the wow. All right, knock your socks off. Uh, passionate, confident, that sort of person. This could be a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. This could be Gemini. Doesn't have to be. But somebody with Gemini in their chart could be another air sign too. But if we're talking about a king, we're talking about a Gemini. But this could also be Libra or Aquarius. This could be Sagittarius or Leo or Aries. 
this could be somebody that you have known for a while that you have a platonic friendship with and it slowly evolves and builds this is someone that you feel like you work really well with that is a true partner to you and it is very important that this person be trustworthy which they are um and basically speaks their mind does not play head games is honest is integrity thinks first feels second they're not overly emotional this is someone that is decisive and confident and you feel like you have a natural fit with this person it could even be somebody that you're meeting online that um because of your a dating app or something but this could there could be a lot of online communication with this person a lot of social media involvement with this person could be how you meet or how you communicate after you meet uh, again this is somebody that you really you it's like you want to take some time to get to know their character um, and you really want to make sure that they're who they say they are. You have no time for games. Neither do they. So you picked a good one or you found a good one. Um, and it looks like you both are into it. You both feel the same way. You feel like you work really well with this person. Um, okay, what's this? What's this Three of Pentacles about? Let's see. What's this Three of Pentacles about? Hey, you're both interested in security, trustworthiness, longevity. Okay, but it is gonna it's gonna take a while. It's slow building because you're you the Pisces that I'm reading for, you're really gonna want to vet this person. There's a bit of feeling kind of guarded or like, is it too good to be true? That sort of thing. What's this six of pentacles about? And this isn't gonna be somebody um, right away that you feel that about. We don't have anything major here. So there's nothing, there's no lightning bolts. There's nothing's like, oh my God, this is your person. That's going to be determined at a later time and it'll be your choice. What's this six of pentacles about? Okay. That's the nine of swords, page of wands. What's this page of wands about? Yeah, that's right. Good. Take it slow. What's this 10 of wands about? Okay, so I know I'm sitting here talking to the card, but the, point, the reason why is because it's going to need to be slow because you're very interested in the dependability, reliability, and trustworthiness of someone. So this person comes on kind of bigger than life and you're like, wait, I need to know that I can trust you. We got to take things slow. Um, I might want to date you in a group setting or really take you around my friends first, do a lot of... Uh, things with my friends and your friends or whatever. I don't want to be alone with you just yet because I don't want my feelings to get the best of me. I really need to know that I can trust you and count on you and be, um, that you're a good person, that you're honorable and you have integrity. And it's going to be, take you some getting used to being able to open up and trust this person. And in a weird way, allow them to give to you. If we're being honest, you, there's kind of this feeling that you're kind of, um, I wouldn't say closed off, but you're just not used to some, you're used to doing everything yourself. You're not used to working with someone. And yet that's what you want. You want that unified partnership. You want somebody that is a partner, but then when it comes down to it, it's very nerve wracking for you because I think you've had some experiences where you've been let down repeatedly and it just doesn't pay to put all your eggs in one basket. So it's like you want more than anything to have somebody that you work well with that is a true partner. But then when it comes down to it, when it's, it's very nerve wracking for you to allow someone in, to be vulnerable, to let someone contribute, to not just kind of take over and manage everything. And then, you know, six months later, you're like, I'm not getting my needs met. This is an emotionally void relationship. We're not connecting. Well, it's because it's not reciprocal. So that's going to be an issue for you. Um, but the good news is this person is up for it. <laughs> They're up for the challenge, so it's okay. <laughs> um, and then what, it looks like they're gonna be, well, it looks like it's gonna be something that you have to work through. This is something that you have to come to terms with and it might you might do well with keeping things, well, yeah, going slow, basically. This is about you going slow. This is about you going at a pace which you need to feel comfortable transitioning the relationship. You're going to set the tone on this one. 
Um, and it's not going to get romantic right away either. This, there's going to be a long period of you vetting this person, getting to know them, wanting to see them in different situations. Um, because I think there's a, this uh, part of you that when you do finally give, you give deeply and from the heart. And that has been taken, again, taken for granted. So this reciprocity and openness and being able to trust someone doesn't come easy for you. So take this at your pace, that which you feel is best suited for you. All right. And, hmm. Hold on a minute. Did some of you just lose a job? Well, duh. I mean, who, you know, come on. A lot of people watching who hasn't. This could be connected to work because there's a lot of group activity around meeting this person or getting to know this person. There's a lot of things you do in a group with this person. So just so you know, it could be that this is somebody that you meet in a group setting and there's a lot of group activities first. And that'll help you with getting to know them at your pace also. Okay, let's look at the, what's this 10 of wands? This is Ten of Wands. King of Swords again. Okay, so this there's a lot of online communication. This could be something um, that you meet in connection with a job or a friend from work, that sort of thing. It could also be that you either meet them online or after you meet them through your friend with, from work, there is online communication after that. There's a lot of online uh, involvement you know the social media connections after that those are the two components here so it could be a gemini but it, it feels like um this is somebody that you're just really wanting to connect with on a mental cerebral level to find out what kind of person they are before you even get there i mean there's no cups here this is all well there's this but this is all brass tacks you really want to make sure of somebody's character first okay what else for pisces So we got fish and we got the key. Yay! This is about keeping things open and fluid and going with the flow, which might be kind of hard because again, we have that um, that fear, that issue with being open and vulnerable. But so right now it's just like the free flowing, catch is catch can. This will build from a friendship. This romantic interest is going to build from a friendship first. And that might be slow going and it'll be at the pace that you establish. But after they, all the boxes are checked, this, it looks like you have this in mind already that this could definitely be somebody that you see yourself with, but you just don't want to put the cart before the horse. But it looks like the, everything that you have concerns about, there is resolution to it. Things are going to work out. And the answer is to stay open and stay fluid and just, allow whatever's going to happen to happen. Um, that is not to say that, you know, let's get a bottle of tequila and see what happens. <laughs> no, that's simply however you meet this person, it goes from there and you take it one day at a time and you stay open and that's all it is. And if you don't feel like doing something, you don't feel like doing something, but you're, you're respecting how you feel as a precursor to your interacting with them because you're not forcing anything and you're not like okay well i gotta go out with this person otherwise they're gonna think this or that no this is about keeping the focus on yourself and the pace that you want and there's an openness and a fluidity and that's what is the key to this working out is there's no pressure there's no guidelines there's no expectations you're interested in who they are and that's going to take some time to get to know all right so Let's see here. As far as um, tarot cards with that, we got the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. So this is, we got the Queen of Pentacles over here. This would be the King of Pentacles and then this is the Eight of Pentacles. Again, with taking the practical approach and taking time, taking time to get to know and keeping things open. So there you go. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? Hi. What else for Pisces? For Pisces. <laughs> All right. Deciding that this is 
this is about I think this is about when you meet this person you're gonna need to make some decisions and it could be that you are they're gonna be the deciding factor in helping you get closure on and and kind of being done with a past situation because you've been largely solitary for the Pisces that I'm reading for so when you meet this new person that is gonna be you know fine and also this is a symbol for but for me we got the fish here Pisces hello um, Anyway, uh, this is about you closing out and setting down burdens which simply no longer serve you anymore to make way for a new, you don't know what it is, but anything could happen, to, but to make way for this new turn of events. And this is a good omen. This is a good, this is reversal, but in this case, it's good luck. It's a very fortunate turn of events for the future. And this is about making a decision to set things down that no longer serve you, that are simply too heavy. If this is about working too much, this is about you stopping that and restructuring your priorities to make room for something like this. And maybe after you meet this person, you will be more apt to do that because you'll want to make room for someone of their character and that type of person in your life. Boom. Okay, so did that one, did that one. All right, this is where I ended, Pisces. I hope this was helpful. I hope to see you in the next reading. I thank you for stopping by and I, I wish you luck with this. I'm glad that it's not gonna be like this rush of emotion. You might feel that way, but you're gonna take your time and it's gonna serve you well because it's gonna be something, this is gonna be somebody that you're gonna feel like over time, you're gonna be able to count on them because you'll have taken a time, you'll have vetted it enough. So, it, but it will start from friendship and it will build slowly. You can never go wrong with that. All right, thank you for stopping by. Um, have a good July. I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.